The amount of, child, of children with child obesity has just increased over the few years, especially in developed countries such as ours. <clears throat> Why has obesity in children increased? Aren't children supposed to be active and full of energy, running around? So why? Today, I will inform my audience about childhood obesity and why the amount of children with obesity has, has increased. To explain why childhood obesity has increased over the years, I will cover three main points. First, one of the main causes of childhood obesity is the decreasing amount of physical activity. Second, the increase of of fast food consumption has also contributed to an increase in obesity for children. And third, the risks of childhood obesity to their future. One of the main causes of childhood obesity is the lack of physical activity in their lifestyle. <clears throat> Mainly, the excessive amount of time spent watching TV. Karen Kaplan, the science and medicine editor from the Los Angeles Times, who wrote the article, Study Makes a Surprising Link Between TV and Childhood Obesity, in April 2015, <clears throat> states that in a study run by the U.S. Department of Education, it was discovered that children who watch TV for an hour or more were 39% more likely to become overweight between kindergarten and first grade. In addition, according to an article published, by the National Institutes of Health in 2015 tells child obesity causes and consequences. The amount of title time a child spends watching TV correlates with the consumption of advertised goods. As many of you know, when you're watching TV or your favorite show, you like to pick out a snack and sometimes these snacks cannot be healthy for you. The benefits of limiting time for television and electronics for children. For instance, limiting the amount of TV time for each day, the child will be able to explore healthier ways of enjoyment that can promote their social interactions and also their health. Now that I have discussed the importance of limiting time on electronics for children, let's move on to how fast food also contributes to the increase in child obesity, starting off with the nutritional value of fast food. In the article, Fast Food Consumption by U.S. Children, Last update in December of 2019 and published by Very Well Health. Yasmin S. Howley explains that fast food has high sodium and saturated fat contents. In relation, Mayo Clinic, a nonprofit academic medical center, in their article titled Childhood Obesity, explains that diet is a very important factor to child obesity since high calorie foods such as those served the S fast food restaurants can lead to obesity. And as mentioned before, fast food restaurants, the food that they serve has a higher amount of sodium and saturated fat. So this negatively impacts your diet, which can also lead to childhood obesity. Advertising geared towards kids. Fast food companies are actively trying to get kids to buy their food which is unhealthy for them. An example of an advertising tactic used by fast food companies such as McDonald's to try and grab the attention of children is by putting in a limited edition toys in their meals. I'm sure many of y'all have seen these toys and have bought a Happy Meal when you were, young, when you were younger to try and get this toy. Therefore, fast food companies have played a very important role and the decreasing numbers of obesity among children. Moving on to my final main point, the risk posed by childhood obesity to the future of a child, both physically and mentally. Starting off with the health risks, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in the article titled Childhood Obesity Causes and Consequences, last updated on in 2016, Children who have obesity are most likely to develop other issues such as high blood pressure and cholesterol. Having these issues also poses risk for cardiovascular disease, which is more serious. Another example is that child obesity can also cause non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is given when fatty deposits build up in the liver. 
This could leave scarring in the liver and could be very bad for the child. Not only is there physical risk, physical downsides to childhood obesity, but there's also emotional and psychological problems brought on by childhood obesity. For instance, according to Lay Ma and Alexis Aplaska in the article, Child Obesity and Mental Health, a Complex Interaction, published in 2016 on the National Institutes of Health, children with obesity may struggle with low self-esteem and body image disturbances. Where in addition, some children may also develop anxiety or depression to society. In conclusion, child obesity has increased over years due to a lack of physical activity and increase in consumption of fast food, of high calorie meals from fast food restaurants. Not only that, but child obesity can also lead to other health issues along with psychological problems such as anxiety or depression. Obesity is not just a health issue, but it can also cause emotional problems such as low self-esteem. Many people already struggle with seeing their image in a positive way, but no matter what, it is very important to make sure that you feel healthy both mentally and physically.